Welcome back to Coors Field, everybody. Tyler Anderson will face Charlie Culberson here in the top of the third inning. Joined now by Dodgers pitching coach Rick Honeycutt. And Rick, just want to talk to you about Ross Stripling for a moment. Two innings of work so far. What have you seen from the young right-hander? Yeah, he's just left a couple of balls up. He had LeMayu 2 and that ball stayed kind of midline. And uh, same thing with uh, Arenado's ball. Um, unfortunately, there with the first pitch, uh, Parra got him with a uh, fastball that leaked to the middle. And to get a breaking ball down to the pitcher, so I mean it was just kind of uh, every mistake they've they've been on. With two games today, you have to be very cognizant, obviously, of the use of how far your starters go into the game, but the use of the bullpen. How much of a leash will Russ get to in game one? Well, I mean, as long as he's throwing well and we're you know in the game, obviously we need we need some length, but at the same time we've got to uh, we do everything we can to um, stay in the ball game. So. We'll uh, we'll manage it the best we can. And finally, for you, Rich Hill penciled in to start Game Two. What will you guys be looking at as far as the blister is concerned in his warmup? Yeah, it's it's just something that uh, obviously the trainers have a little bit more. They're more uh, inept with the uh, blisters than I am uh, as far as what they see. So uh, we'll be very conscious of that. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks. All right, guys, back upstairs. All right, thank you, Alana. Thank you, Rick. Charlie Culberson leading off this inning against Tyler Anderson. I think the feedback they're getting on the blister stuff with Rich Hill is not that he has a blister, but as you heal from these things, you don't all of a sudden get another blister, but you get hot spots. 